Hey, good morning, everybody. Hello, good morning. And hope you are having a good Thursday today. It's Thursday. And I only know yep. Thursday because I know that Lego Masters came on last night, which is a Wednesday. And speaking yep. of Lego Masters coming on last night, let's try and keep the chat spoiler free. There's a lot of people who haven't watched it right yep. away. I don't want to give anything away uh, to anybody. So please... Yep. Tick a lock, as my grandma used to yeah, say. But I mean, um, we we can talk about Lego Masters. We just oh, can't talk about anything regarding who won or who went home or anything. So like I'm that. gonna say hi. Let's see who is here with us today. All right, Thomas Wheaton. Hello from uh, to Orlando. Uh, let's see, Steve Parmley. The Parmleys are here. Hey, hi, Steve. Steve and Marilyn and David. Pink Wheels Three. Bj Maximus. Is here Straw Bricks, Jake Animation Studios, Dolphin Boy 360, Moto is here, hey, Shane Moto. Levin is here, Levin is here, Dolphin Boy 360. I think I maybe said that already. Yep. Uh, Jake Potter, Sarah wow. Kino, Jake Animation Studios, The Brick Orphanage, Mini Fig Chick. Hi, Hi. Um, PD Bricks Films. Oh my goodness, so, so many, people. many people. Well, Drew Dershel is here. Hey, Drew. Yeah, and uh, Bama Bricks is here, and Claire Skelly. Wow, how great. And Kimchi Bricks, hello, everyone, and Gallagher. Wow. How exciting, um, everyone. I'm so. So I put out a call on Facebook last night to try to get us to a thousand subscribers. We were like 700 and something. Yep. And um, it's been like, we're now, we're at like nine. 30. Like, yeah, and then it's so exciting. We're so close. And I want to thank everybody who's maybe new here today. I know uh, that's welcome. joining us. Uh, welcome, and just thank you if you, um, you know, for people reposting our posts and getting people to sign on. We really appreciate it. It's it's really huge, and we we're very yep. uh, very touched. So well, thank you so much. And we want to offer you a lot in our building chat every day, right? We want to have a lot of fun. And um, if there's stuff you want, I mean, we only have the sets we have. But if there's stuff you want to talk about or anything, like, yeah. and, and we're going to do how-tos, uh, we set a goal mm -hmm. of having some how-tos done by the end of Sunday. So we'll put those up, too. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so so people are asking about the contest. The submissions for the contest are due today at noon, which means, like, probably shortly after the end of the yep. stream. So make sure that you have them in. You can either go to Instagram and tag us at Tricky Bricks. You can yep. also do the hashtag uh, Tricky Bricks Build Contest. That'll work also. Um, or you can email us, uh, and the email is... Right there. Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. And I apologize to everybody uh, that I haven't been able to respond directly to you and say, I got your submission, um, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of submissions. I know I have at least 25 or 30. That's so, so um, cool. Yeah, That's it's awesome. really exciting. So we're really happy about it. That there's, you know, if you build fast, there's still time to mm -hmm. enter. And um, so... I will. I, I'm Pink Wheels three. Like I said, I got a lot of um, submissions. I'm sure yep. we did. If I don't see one from you, I will let you know. So yep. we will be announcing the winner tomorrow on the live stream. Jake Animation Studios. Yes, I will give you special dispensation to submit an hour late because yes. you're here and you've been here you from the beginning. Know, so right? you and so we appreciate that. And you know, if we have um, if we have some extra, you know, we may have more than thirty. Who knows? By there's still two hours left. And people love to do things at the last minute, which I totally approve of. It's true. <laughs> so our entertainment tonight is going to be checking out everyone's submissions. I can't wait. Yeah. So it's a it's been a, so it's been a great response to the to the giveaway. Great response to helping get get up to our thousand subs. So we're real excited. Um, we got some, you know, got some silly stuff coming up over the weekend. So I um I ended up getting a bunch of the the free uh like the gifts with purchase. Um, and brother from another Brit, is it okay if I build a life-size shirtless version? Hey, if yes. that's what you want to do, feel free. All right. <laughs> Nicholas Phillips, I can't build up so much under, uh, under so much pressure. I believe me. I understand. Right. Um, okay. So anyway, so Sunday, we're going to have our non-secular bunny day. Yeah. Uh, just like an Animal Crossing. Bunny and day. I have the um, I have the two gift with purchase, um, this little Easter egg thing. I've got this little bunny rabbit, and I have the I have the little Easter bunny 
set uh, that comes in a little egg shape, and I already put it together, but I like take it apart and put it back together again. Yeah. Because that would be a fun little trio of things to do on Sunday, just a little uh, non-secular bunny day celebration. Oh, you mean the egg delivery? Yeah, the egg delivery bunny, bunny with the, <laughs> like, the scooter, because she delivers... She delivers them on the scooter. Oh, we got Disney um, pins today. Hey! Uh, I, oh, Jake Animation Studios, if you have those and you haven't put them together yet, if anybody, if you have them and haven't put them together oh, yet, yeah. save them for Sunday, come on the live stream and build, we'll build along together. with us. So that really would be fun. a blast. Um, that would be a fun, uh, that would be a fun little, little project, little group thing. So, I'm featuring right now this well-worn Mickey oh, yeah, Mouse pin Disney. that I wore when I worked at Disneyland in 1982. Disney pin in high school. Uh, Disney pin. Uh, it's Disney, the Disney Disney pin time, and I'm wearing my uh, pirate peg leg pirate parrot. Wow, peg leg pirate parrot. All right. Don't you have? I have Lego pins as well. I think when I've gone through all Yes, the Shane, I am so excited for Bunny Day to be over because I am so sick of finding <laughs> these stupid eggs everywhere. Ugh. Um, oh, in, in so, Animal Crossing. Yeah. Oh, great. Zerakino, great. Well, hopefully the two of you can join us on Sunday at 10 and we'll do the... We'll, oh, that'll uh, we'll be so fun. We'll put it all fun. together. How yes. fun. Let's build together. Okay, so... All right, so today I will go ahead and uh, it's probably time to get started here. But, uh, oh, for, we're building so We're building a thing. <laughs> so today we're building 1382 Lego Studios Scary Laboratory. Um, another very kind donation from our friend Drew, who is here in the um, in the feed today. So everybody give a big thank you to Drew for giving us these awesome things to build. Thank you, Drew. Um, uh, hey, husbands. That was my nickname for you guys on Lego Math. Oh, awesome. Right on. Thank you, Brick Builder Blue. <laughs> that's an that is that's very sweet. Here, why don't let's save that box? So I'm gonna slice the label really carefully. Oh well, I already pulled the sticker. We're fine. It's it's done. Now this one this one is much bigger. And what I love about do, I, what I love about this is I love seeing like being able to look open the box with you guys. This has never been yeah. opened. It's from 2002. And yeah, I guess it's expensive on eBay. I don't know. So 18 years old. I want to save one this box for sure. So we don't normally do that, but some special ones like the ideas boxes we save. Okay, so we've got those again those like perforated um uh, hey stud sidious thanks for joining jason seacrest um no numbered bags no it's anyone's guess and look at how much gray, gray and there's gray, a, gray. Lot. There's it, a lot there's a lot in here it, it looks like a star wars spaceship set. oh okay check out this um this sticker set is amazing and actually i'll i will i'll switch over here so i can hold is them it up upside to the front down camera. oh yeah cool Check Look out those that. stickers. Spooky branches, manacles on the wall. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. And there's like the, the you know, the, from the laboratory, the Frankenstein's laboratory, that little, I don't know what that's called. Oh, like that a little thing. Like an, with the a rings. large, it's an insulator. Yeah. We've got our, um, so the instruction booklet <laughs> is, <laughs> okay, so it's, the cover is printed sideways. Like a calendar. Yeah, but the actual inside is. I cinematic. Um, we've got and look. We've got the okay. We've got that catalog awesome, again. We've got the awesome catalog. It's the same one from yesterday, so we don't need to go over this again. But no, um, but it's so exciting. It's still pretty cool. Check out this font too. Like that. That font is like super future. Yeah, the Galador and all the Alpha team. So these are really these are really cool little things. And actually, I think um, for these little catalogs, maybe we'll do some kind of giveaway of these little. These little catalogs, just we like a little that. fun. That's nice. Just little, like a little fun thing. item. Yeah. And oh, oh, the we're, CD we're ROM. Now. The CD ROM, you guys. Wow. Right. <laughs> CD ROM with sound FX. Very futuristic. Yeah. So it's wow. Okay. So and are then, we just? Oh yeah. And then we have again the Lego, the Lego shop at home, little. So you can sign up for your catalog. Ooh, nice Lego train. Which you would send through the mail. <laughs> All right. And yeah, and then the whole thing came in this like cardboard tray, which well, is Well, not... maybe let's hang on to that tray too. Yeah. Hey, this is great for sorting. Yep. Right. Trays. Well, trays in our house. Like yes. Look at, yes, you're right. The old QuickTime Quick logo. And 
Macromedia, which wow. like my friend uh, is really my really good friend worked for them back in the day, and it was just like an out of the out of the basement operation. Like it was pretty amazing. All right, so we've got. Um, so what do you think? Um, do we just open them all up and sort it all? Yeah, I think that's what we got to do. All Let's right. start. We'll start with these perforated bags. Yeah, because they've got the fun. kind of the bigger pieces in. I wonder if they. No, it's that very yellow, dark gray, but it's not that. I don't know why these would be perforated. Oh, Thomas, uh, from the selection of Star Wars scenes from Lego Master last night. Well, I don't want to give anything away, Thomas. Um, I just We can talk about that maybe on another stream, but I don't want to necessarily yeah. give that away right now. There are a lot of people still haven't seen the show. And yeah. I think it would be... I don't want to kind of do it for them. People are catching up. Um, all right, so... Sorry, but we will. We're happy to talk about all that stuff. Ooh, and check this out. I love this. Um, I love this piece. Which one there? This one. Oh, where everything is still where on all the, the sprue. tools are still on the sprue. It's really cool. <laughs> I like. We have that for Harry Potter wands too. Yeah, but they're on a little, the, the, a little these tiny tools. Sprue. And we, I have a couple of these that I've kept together for. Um, for this. It so. looks like a guild sign. Or oh, something. Chris Barron, excellent. Good morning. Thank you for sending in your submission for the contest. Oh, cool. I'm so excited that we've got so many people uh, signed up. Here, we've got more of those. Well, we should watch a superhero movie tonight when we're looking at everyone's submissions. Yes. Right? Yes, that's a good idea. We'll have to, and not we'll one of those... Time. You know, new ones that you have to pay attention to a really incredibly complex lineage. Not of a stories. new, not one of the new ones. Well, what sort of? Well, one? we like, can watch about, new like, ones. But are you talking about like Superman with Christopher Reeve? Because I can get behind that. Oh, I would watch that. I would watch the that. blue screen is the blue so screen's terrible. He's flying like you can almost see he's like laying on a shelf. Yeah, but I gotta <laughs> say though, when that movie came out, like when it originally came out, oh man, it was like the best. I remember loving that so much. Yeah, and especially like the um, well, the Fortress Reeve of was, Solitude and Christopher Reeve. Was he was so dreamy, Reeve. right? Yeah, he was well. Superman. He was Superman. All right. Um, so, all right. Wow. So we got a lot of these little some technic, no not things. much. Yeah. Oh wait, but we're some just in the back, first but, bag. So that's we're only just run the first. Out of room. That's just the first perforated bag. Yeah, that's one of the one of the bummers. Um, watch the Michael Keaton Batman movie with Jack Nicholson. Well. Uh, it has yeah, okay, its ups now, and downs. Yeah, I have I have issues with it. I know a lot of people love it, but it was it's not necessarily in my um, that wasn't necessarily my generation of Batman. Um, yeah, and you see now there you go. The Batman is be really uh, um, really good. Yeah, it looks like it's old and dark light gray. Uh, yeah, it is. It is the old and dark. They just are like we did yeah. yesterday. The old the older color. I like that that sort of yellowish. Um, I I had always thought it was just that they were old and it, you know aged, but I Ooh, think that's this is the way exciting. This just came. Now I don't know if this does anything or if it's just a decoration, but it does come with a worm gear, which you can Ooh, probably hardly see I at like all. Worm gears. <laughs> and check this out. We get the lion. Oh yeah, the lion brick. Those are great. They're great. Mm -hmm. We got our mini fig Wait, torsos. No, it's not gonna. I think we're probably good. There, look at that. And right. that only took ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of lag. <clears throat> um, yeah, the the um, the Adam West Batman movie is hilarious. I love that. Like then the Joker goes and turns the whole like you know NATO into into like into colored dust, dust that and they sweep into them it. Up. We talked about this the other day. It's so silly. It's really, it's really, really weird. I like Frank Gorshin as the as the Riddler. As the Riddler, too. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I noticed, uh, yeah, absolutely. So what's everyone building? Are you building? Do we? Does everyone have time at home to build now? Well, hopefully you've been building the stuff for the contest. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Hey, it's Face All Chowdhury. How's it going? Good to see you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like. Yeah, I'm wearing my um, I'm wearing my Paranorman shirt today. Um, it was. It's pretty. It's a. Pre, it's a pretty awesome shirt. Oh, I we got say. to when we went to Bricks Cascade. Yeah. Um, huh? What a month ago? It's a month and a half a month ago. ago now. Yeah. Um, 
uh, we had a chance with our friend um, to go and see like a studios. yeah we got the tour like a studio which was so amazing. cool. Um, so gosh, there's a lot of little pieces. This I have to say this there pre are. I'm not super excited about this pre numbered bag stuff. Yeah, well they learn. Yeah, I mean, this but was it's how many years ago? Well, I guess it it's was eighteen years it, ago. And it wouldn't be bad if we had like a huge table to work on, <laughs> but we're trying to work where you can see us. Plus, we have we need, we need room for the um, this gigantic the like <laughs> magazine, this magazine size oh, right. uh, instruction book. Yeah, and like the studio, and I don't know. There's always random stuff around, like D and D dice hanging around, and like old pieces from old. We're, sets right, that we, we had put to together. clear up from Dungeons and Dragons to play Lego. Oh, like, Jake Animation see. Studios, awesome! You got the Disney Castle, excellent. Okay, Gallagade, enjoy your dinner. We'll see you shortly. You know, we'll be here for a little while today. I'm guessing. See the kind of hard chores we have at the house of Flynn and Richard. We had to clean up Dungeons and Dragons so that we could play Lego. So we could play Lego. Although I did brave the grocery store today. We yeah, to we both went out. It was store. a whole thing. And I had my mask and Flynn actually went in. We both had masks. Flynn went in. I did the the decontamination project. Yeah, the afterwards. decontamination station. It was like silkwood on our back porch. <laughs> it was. It kind of was. It was like we might as well just brought the hose. But we have snacks. Everything down. <laughs> we have snacks now. <laughs> Drew, we're, you kids are to these days are so spoiled with your numbered bags and simplified instructions. <laughs> I know. And, I don't... and printed colors that look like the real brick. Ooh, Joshua Zender, the Frozen 2 Treehouse. I want that one so bad. Um, yes, um, PD Brick Films, we did get more subs. Um, I haven't heard the little announcement song that happened. We got a bunch more. But yeah, but we got a bunch of subs yesterday. Like, we're, get, we're really close. We're so close to 1,000, y'all. I think we're like... Um, maybe 70 people away, 75 people away. I don't that's know. That's so cool. And that's amazing. That's just in a few weeks, too. Yeah. Oh, Thanks. you did the same thing as Sony. Such a production. It was a production. I gotta say. <laughs> it was like a whole... It was a whole thing. It was like being in, um, you know, end of the world movie. It was so weird. The dog came along as our emotional support grocery shopping dog. Yes. He hung out in the... <laughs> Logan hung out in the back seat. Oh boy, he's really on one today. Now yeah. he's going back and forth Lots between the kitchen and the the side room window. Uh, so you know, I think just well, why don't you start? I think you're gonna have bricks. to start. Yeah, you know um, what? Because sorting's fun, but let's. We can uh, see Jake, it would be fun to have guests on the stream, and I really, really want to. It's just right yeah. now, it's a matter of our um, our well, internet connection is not fast enough to support it. Right. And it's been um, a little bit uh, difficult trying to get through uh, into the um, to the cable company, right? Um, because lots of people are right. Plus, right they now. have to bring us a new um, they have to bring us a new uh, what router thing. Yep. And then um, so it's a process. You know, it's a process, but and it's also going to be a significant jump up in price. So we're gonna we're trying to. Balance it all out. Hopefully, yeah. by like you know next week or the middle of next week, we should be able to to do that. Yeah, um, work. I think we've come up to speed pretty fast, but we have okay. High thanks, aspirations. all. We'll see you later. Um, oh, check this out, y'all. I am digging this piece. What's that? Um, this, oh, I see. We're not in the close-up camera. This helmet what? is really no. cool. Look at that. I want like a what? dozen of those. Yeah, wouldn't that be great across the? I always want yeah, to put things and we across have, the cornice of a building. So we have the Frankenstein, who has with, a really got a terrifying. He's a really kind of terrifying face with those big cheekbones. Well, he's got a big head and then that fits on there. He's got a whole like zipper on the back of his head, <laughs> like a whole zipper thing. Oh, and if you look really close, you can see there's a little tiny hole with gears so the zipper pouches open a little wow, bit he's so gears he's in there. robot frankenstein <laughs> um and then i've yeah and then he's got this like gigantalore yeah uh oh he's got this gigantalore headpiece like it's huge 
Wow. One might say monstrous. That's great. And you can stick stuff on the sides of it, like lightning bolts or something. Yeah, I imagine so. All right, so here, I'm going to I'm gonna pass these here. little bits of Yeah, I'll do all the fiddly bits. And we'll see how we're doing here. Because, of course, you know we're going to need everything in those little bags right away. Nostalgic helmet right there. It was. I mean, from the color to the shape, it was awesome. All right. Well, of course, you're supposed to have your mini figs made first, but we're going to skip what, through that. What? I love that. making mini figs. I know, but we've got to still... There's tons of pieces all over. Oh, yeah. There's that little director dude. And then there's a lady, too. Um, okay. So, let's get started with wow, this. Wow. We do have a lot of pieces. Um, cool. Yeah. I um, like us for life. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, we need these one by fours with the little with the groove and the have like the little groove. Yes, in I them. saw that right there. And there's is there another one? Um another one just like that? I don't yeah. know that I saw one of those yet. Yes, right there. You want to go to the close up cam? Oh I guess I could I guess I could. It's yeah now that to, we're assembling yeah. everyone sees that we're separating. <laughs> Alright, so should I move to the close up cam? Um there. Good morning, Monster Kid Radio. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, yes, it's definitely. Wow, thank so you, thank here. you to your to your husband Zacharino. Definitely, um, thanks to anybody who's out there. All the people who are working in the grocery store today, like I really, I know they um, came always to work. give them my appreciation whenever I can, because um, they've got a lot, you know, a lot to deal with. A lot of people. A lot of cranky yeah. people and freaked out people. All Whoa, right, subscription. subscription. I can't read that. Mike, Mike Ward. Ward. Thank okay, you here. so much. You assemble bricks. Sure. I'm um, gonna, but oh, will you oh, hit the transition the, there? Yeah. Oh, bump, bump, bump. Uh, Come up the speed. Oh, dinner isn't made yet. Welcome back. Oh, you're doing your science Legos for life. Very good. All right, so this is what we've got. We're going to look. We're looking now for some, it looks like sand blue grills. Probably in those bear, little... I, we always have to say bear girls every time. Well, you do. I do. Well, one of us <laughs> does. <laughs> I crack myself up. Science is fun. That's great. Well, I love I think them. so, too. I read science books for entertainment. Like, I read astrophysics and neuroscience and all that, just not with the math. So I just get these ideas about, wow, isn't the cosmos huge? Or isn't it interesting how we think? But I don't have to process any numbers or memorize things. Yeah, I. But I. I read science fiction. That's about as far as I go. Um, so not so far. Yeah. Off. Well, it's, it's all right. It was sci-fi going to the grocery store today. It, it was like <laughs> being in a sci-fi movie. But let's not let's not dwell on that. Well, it's let's... good because we have all kinds of snacks for building now. Yes, we are good. Um, we're doing good today. Oh, we have a math math test and percentages. Well. You know, good luck to you. I am so glad that you're able to do that because I can't in the work. Oh, th uh, hello. Thank you. Another subscription. Uh, who is it? Steven Shane. Le oh, Shane Levin. Thank you so oh, much awesome. for subscribing. Appreciate that. Well, all these. Whoa, y'all, check this out. Hooray. A brown rat. That is so cool. I am super excited about the brown about the brown rat. I love rats. I want to do a piece um, based on based uh, on a movie that no one in no, here will know. No one here would know Ben or Willard, right? <laughs> oh, although who was that? Who was that creepy guy who was in um, who was in Back to the Future? He played the dad in Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. He's Crispin a weird Glover. artist. Yes, Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover played um willard as well yeah it, uh, although i guess that was you know maybe 15 years ago now. hey bj thanks so much for um uh, oh yeah well of course monster kid radio you know those movies and bj <laughs> thank you so much for submitting your for so your mock um you know oh, what cool. that's the whole point of it you may you may feel like you're not the best builder but you tried and that's the most important part is that you got out there yep. you built something you sent it in and i think that's really brave and really cool and i, I mean i yeah. really because you know when we first started building we were really afraid to show anybody what we were doing so exactly. I'm, I'm hoping just, that people can feel good about like sharing their stuff that's so, the whole um, that's the whole point of this one like you know there and Exactly. Yeah. I, I think the fun thing is that you got to build a cool thing, and then we get to see it. <laughs> oh, hey, Jesse <laughs> McBride. We'll share it with everyone, too. Welcome. So. Um, I, I'm so glad that you were able to um, catch the stream live. 
And I, I know, I guess you must be on the other side of the world from us because you're saying it's, we, we stream late at night. And for us, of course, it's early oh, in the morning. right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're like brunch time here. Yeah. Yeah, I think every skill level is welcome, right, for builders. Oh, absolutely. 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 You know, put three <laughs> bricks Thanks, together Shane. with the right story, you know, and you've made a thing like a ultra micro build. Exactly. Exactly. No, I like I like seeing all kinds of stuff. Okay, of course we are now needing all of the pieces that are in that bag. Like it, I okay, knew this was going to happen. We're going to do this. We're going to get a bowl. <laughs> uh oh. End up on the floor. Uh oh, y'all. The serious. bowl is coming out. The bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's a you know we um, Shane the um, uh, or sorry uh, PD Brick Films. Yeah, the um, we don't all. Uh, we aren't all lucky enough to have access to a ton of bricks, but you know we um, we work with what we can, and that's I mean that's we definitely did. how we started off. Yeah. That you know that Alice in Wonderland mock that I built earlier this week, um, that is that um, stretched our collection. That's yeah, that really did. That really stretched the boundaries of what we were of what we were able to do. So it looks like, so it looks like we are going to be. Um, yes. Um, sorry, so many cool pieces. I'm kind of freaking out. Uh, it looks like it's time to take the tools off of the sprue. Now, normally I would be like, oh, I don't want to take them off, but I really okay. want to keep this set together and display it along with the other one. Like, this is going to be a total, uh, total thing. Uh, okay, well, later when right. we're not on the stream, I'll take a razor blade and, you know, smooth off those little edges. But they come awesome. off pretty well. Awesome. Uh, the Mowgli <laughs> says, thank you guys for giving me something to break my creative block. Doing an entry for the contest helped my Lego. That's oh, awesome. Hooray. That's awesome. That's your like Lego the, brain, even. That's like the best thing. Uh, well, I love that hearing happen. that. Thank you so much. I, um, I really, um, uh, we're so excited to know that you are inspired and that people want to make more stuff and we'll be doing more too. I think, you know, maybe when we, it, like, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll do yeah. another some kind of giveaway. Probably like one of those, um, like one of those. Uh, what did were the catalogs that we were just looking at, and then like some oh, a yeah. set of some kind, like a small set of some kind. I think will be good. That would be cool. And we'll figure out some some kind of little thing to do it, or like that a, sounds like a fun. Uh, how, or you know, like maybe a mystery box of Lego ephemera and things. Oh, that would be fun. A mystery I like box. That. Flynn actually does this sort of, um, you know, almost like Secret Santa trade with Lego stuff. Yep, right? it's true. But a right across it's, the ocean, even. Yeah, it's the not ocean. Unfortunately, across the ocean. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. So it looks like well, to the UK. We've made this little, this is going to be like a display area for all the tools. So the tool handles fit inside of these, like, super green thing. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the lady with the red bangs gets the, the red, red hair. hair. Okay, so I'm interested to know this from people. Orange. So I'm looking at the instruction booklet right now, and I am absolutely putting these tools... In the holes that the instructions say to, that they're supposed to go in. Now, when you put a set together, do you, like, if you have a little collection of tools like this that goes in a bunch of different slots, do you actually, like, do them exactly as the instructions say? Or do you like to get crazy and put them, like, kind of wherever you feel like it? Um, I will I, definitely will be saving the wheel from the tools, Stud City. It's absolutely yeah, that's <laughs> sci-fi greedling. Yeah, okay, mystery box, Br Brickanista. Hey, how's it going, Naomi? Hey, Good Naomi. to see you. Um, yeah, the mini the minifigs in the set are really cool. It's a shame it's so hard yeah. to find now. I know it's really I I find it hilarious that this is so not hilarious, but I just find it funny well, that it's it, this yeah. is. Um, Check uh, this guy out. A super rare set. I'm sure there's people who are like just cringing that we opened the box. But that mad scientist you know. is so cool. Um, all right, so this, so this, this is like the old school style panel that doesn't have the hollow back. It's like solid on both sides. Oh, it's sides. different on the bottom too, isn't it? And um, that yeah, looks different. Yeah, because then now it's got the little little flat bottom, um, and then it's gonna get this sticker on it which we will put in later but 
It's this sticker, the one with the bat on it. It's going to go there. I, it's only sometimes that I put stickers on sets. Well, you this know, will like, be the like one, sets though. that I really, you know, we're definitely, definitely it, keeping. It adds so much. I think we want to display this set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one will be. This, is, this one's definitely a display. Okay, so now I'm looking for a one by two plate with a little bar that comes off the side. Plate of it. with the one by two plate with a little bar, like this one. And it looks like it might be black. It's oh, those... I I see the the kind for the double clips. Right. So we yeah. use this. This is a we use a piece. Um, I only uh, laugh. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, we call. Fine. So so Joshua, I'm pretty sure it is a brick too. We just call all pieces that look like that panels. That's just our like our sorting system uh, right. that we Anything use. So big and flat. And we have our own. We have our own sort of uh, Lego language. Secret but, language. Yeah. So did you find the, but I agree, we should call things by their proper names. You know, I only <laughs> laugh about displaying this piece because we have such limited space. Books, we used to have a ton of books in our dining room. We still have like books. The crafting. We, yeah, but they keep getting pushed further and further away <laughs> as we take over more bookcase shelves with Lego. Well, we we really need a, uh, we really need a, a dedicated room. All right, so yeah. now this so I've made this little tray with all the tools on it, right? And when we first built this, we used these pieces that have these little grooves in them. Oh, nice. And we also oh. use these rail pieces. And again, I'm using our Lego language. These pieces that have the little like decorative rail that comes up for the sliding yeah. doors. Um, slides right in there like a little drawer. That's great. So you can... Oh, and then I wonder there's no room under there, is there? Because in the other set, there was lightning hidden under a panel. I think that was the Trolls set that you're thinking of. Oh, yes. I guess that was so earlier this week. <laughs> They're blending together, right? Yeah, they really are blending, blending together. together. This is now, I think, our 12th live stream here yeah, on here. YouTube. And we did we a, were a week on Instagram. Two weeks. That. Two weeks? Two weeks. That's so many sets. So and many across sets. a lot of genres, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let's see. And so I don't know. Um, I don't know what Shinedown is. Sorry. Shinedown? We're old. Somebody asked if we'd listen to Shinedown, but I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? I um, square. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh well thank you shane we do we we personality is the is the thing we have to bring to this because i know there's a lot of other people out there building sets and stuff but you know we're doing it our way well, like laverne and shirley it's funny i think lego <laughs> building is is a hobby for like laverne and shirley <laughs> just exactly like <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, 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 we okay. really enjoy doing there. this, right? So I made a little cube. So my little cube is my tool area. And then there's a treasure chest, brown, I believe. Oh, yes. You settle for there's a dedicated Lego table. Yes. Well, you know, when we were on Lego Masters, we used these. Thank you. Um, we used these um, adjustable tables. And yeah, when we got back, from, yeah, when we got back from doing the show, we went on um, to Home Depot and got kind of like a more home version of that. Yeah, that's um, this. That's this table that's here. This table that's here. covered with all of the things that we've been building. Yeah, we actually we're gonna have to weeks. find a home for all those things so that we can build mocks again on the table. Does that make Logan squiggy? It is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's up on the table. Yes, so anyway. <laughs> wow. Totally. Yes, now we're talking about Laverne and Shirley. It's a thing. It is. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to put um, the Draculas. Who is Laverne okay. and which one is Shirley? I think that's pretty easy. I'm I'm definitely the Laverne. Are you? Yeah, yeah. he's Laverne. <laughs> he's, he's got he's that raised eyebrow. He's I'm, definitely the Shirley. I'm bald Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> And don't call me Shirley. Oh boy, here we go. All right, and we got three skulls. Let's oh, and them. you know what's awesome is one of those skulls. Oh, now here's a difference. Now check this out, everybody. So yesterday, um, we had skulls, and we only had the scary style skull. Um, and this one has. Oh, look at that. Two of the smiling ones and one of the scary ones. Yeah, I like sense. that scary one on so, the left. 
So one. Oh, it's really hard to see. One of the um, one of the skulls goes in the treasure chest. Um, pull back just a little bit. Oh, sorry. There we go. I don't know, Moto. What is the hand's name? Bye, Legos for life. Thank you for joining yeah. us. Well, I like um, I like to call our hand Solo. <laughs> <laughs> Hando Calrissian. So, all right. So, um, Mannequin Skywalker. Mannequin Skywalker. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That was like my... remember she's got dots bracelets on, so she's appropriate yeah. for Lego. Where is she? She and for she's anyone who joined us who wasn't here in the first streams, mm -hmm. we had problems with our autofocus. Every time our hand came in, it would refocus. So we put the mannequin hand in there so it wouldn't do that. And, and it stuck. And she just stuck. She's, she's kind of the table ever. She's kind of hung around. All right, so it's a she's a little like thing. She is. She's missing. Thank thing. you, thing. Yeah, so it's her Miz She's thing. I think it's me yesterday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hey, cut the craggle. How's it going? Hey, Holly. I love that Welcome. name. Cut the craggle. I know, right? So, <laughs> oh, there's my skeleton little, parts. And there's my little treasure chest. Now, wow, that's a really tight fit. I gotta well, say. Well, I wonder if maybe that brown shrunk over, shrank over time. Maybe. And there's it has the little skull in it. I'll just leave that for you to look at while I'm trying to figure out what to do next. All right, so we need one of those windows with the rounded top, the window frame with the rounded top. Okay, and there it gets you go. a black gate. Or am you know, I like a black? Am I wrong, or is even the gray is a little yellower? Yeah, it, new, definitely. Right? Oh yeah, that's that's like. And definitely. is that just from age? What are you looking at? I'm. Um, the little piece that goes inside the window, the oh, okay. black the, um, iron, the key, iron grate. Thing. There we yeah. go. Oh, awesome! I love these. This is one of my first obsessions um, when I um, miss thing. I know it's kind of wow. <laughs> now you have to have a caption for the mannequin hand T-shirt. Miss. <laughs> Miz. It's Miz. Miz. It is definitely it Miz. Is Miz. Um, Look, so, she, she's got that. She's got that saucy finger raised right there. Yeah, like, you know, but she's, she's like, you know, here. just a minute. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. She's having trouble today. Okay, anyway, this was one of my early um, Lego obsessions. Was this rounded window um, with the gold lattice work that goes in? I also like these ones with the black bars. Hey, Grease Monkey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, here, Let's I wanted to see. point out these two pieces. First of all, where's center here? Can go right over here. Right there, right? Ooh. Right? We got a printed tile with lightning coming out of some kind of emitter. Yeah. Like sparks. <laughs> and then um, this one, which is, um, it's like a Technic piece. It, it takes Technic pins in it. Yeah. But it's a standoff I've never seen before, and it says Lego Group on it. Oh, so Jake Potter, yes, actually, Richard does absolutely know about the big shift from the old gray to the new gray. It's just well, that we don't have a lot of the old gray in our yeah. collection, and we've never had, like, a this much. Set. Yeah, a complete set with this much yeah. in it um, all the time, uh, you know, at once. So it is, it's something for us. It's a bit of a, um, a uh, novelty, if you will. So, okay, so we're looking for some Yeah, uh, so, these. I mean, so seeing this color in a palette where it actually matches and isn't just a discolored isn't, Yeah, it doesn't version. look just like it's old and discolored, exactly. Right. Small arch, gray. That. There we go. Yep. I, I don't know why I said gray, because of course it's gray. <laughs> and then there's some extra these guys. You can actually reassemble these pieces into a Millennium Falcon. What is the piece that goes on top of the window to close the gap? It's a uh, it's a small it's a small arch. Oops, yep. this forward here. It's a small arch, just like that. So it got um, it got two little round one by one round bricks and then an arch over the top. Yeah, and they did a slight nod to decoration there with having cylinders under there rather yep. than cubes. Yep. Mix like it up. Squat columns. Okay, and now we are looking. Wow, this for... looks like a primitive version of this piece. 
Well, that's from a car. It's like a car. Yeah, something. it is. It's Isn't like it? a car chassis thing. It's funny. I don't know anything car about cars, thing. but I know like I know car pieces when I see them. Dude, <laughs> that looks like it's for a car. That looks like it's for a car. That's <laughs> that, and that is about the extent of my knowledge of cars. Um, well, you've actually done more servicing on our car than I have, I think. Well, well you drive I'm, it a lot I'm, more for work. I've so taken it a, places. So if it's got a... Pro- <laughs> I guess that I haven't actually like so done any that like I filled the washer like, I filled fluid. the washer wiper fluid. Does that, <laughs> does that count? Um, okay, Baby so Baby steps. We're looking for two uh Watch one by one uh bricks. One two by one, one what? One, uh, it looks Cube, like gray dark or gray, dark gray? Dark gray. There's one of them. All right. Here we go. And then we're also Wait, looking for... Wait, you need another one, right? Yeah, there should be another one somewhere around here. Um, yep, two by four slope up here. No, that's black. Yep, oh, my tools fell out. And then we're looking for a little... Oh, here, um, we got a lot of those cubes. Okay, there we go, they're all in one place. All right. See, cubes, one by cubes, one, dots. Break. Yeah, and then we're looking for a jack-o'-lantern head and a scorpion. Okay, jack-o'-lantern head is here. Oh, this is a cool. That's a thing. good one. It is cool. It's with kind the of red it's eyes. It's creepy like a looking. demon jack o' lantern. Yeah, check, it, check that out. From like Halloween season of the witch. Yeah, it's the gonna melt worst, on someone's face and then the snakes worst are gonna come Halloween out. movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you're looking for what? Um, a scorpion. Oh yes, here we go. All right, so we have our um, jack o' lantern, you know, scary pumpkin, and a scorpion. All right, so that's the second floor. First floor, tools. Second floor, skulls, it's, scorpions, and jack-o'-lanterns. It's very <laughs> Minecraft, you know? Not the kind of detail you see now. It's very... 18 years ago. <laughs> make it? I'm, still, I'm, I'm cracking myself up. Well, someone's got to. With my first floor, second floor. And then it made me think of, are you being served? And then it was a whole thing. But let's not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. All right, so we're going to build another... It's like we're building another floor on here. Hey, Will Strobel. Will Stro, how's it going? Welcome. Um, yeah, the jack o face. Um, okay, cool. the Mowgli. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. And I'm so glad that you joined us every day. We really appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow for the announcement of the winner of our contest. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. And if I can get it together, apparently there's a way in this program we're using to stream that I can make a slideshow. Um, oh, so we can show just it. show everyone. So we could show, a, cool. we could show all of the, the things. Um, uh, <laughs> Downton Abbey. <laughs> I do love Downton Abbey. We love Downton Abbey. It's like the the it's, show of, you know, shocked looks. It's like, like it's like classy dynasty. Well, the one that they did, they, so they did a spoof of it on for Red Nose Day in, um, in, in the UK, uh, Quite a few years back now, but it was really hilarious, and it had Jennifer Saunders, who I love in it, <laughs> as Maggie Smith, as the Maggie Smith character, as the, the Countess, whatever, 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 Grand Duchess, de blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't know if there's anyone old enough to remember this, because it was in reruns by the time I saw it, but anyone who likes Down Abbey, if you see Upstairs, Downstairs... Oh, it is! It, it, it is, is the it same is series... It. With the same stories, it just cheaper. Oh, way cheaper! Like it's one, it's <laughs> like, like cardboard set cheap. Well, it's also like yeah, it's like cardboard set cheap. Like the people like go through the doors and the whole the like moves. the whole wall moves, man. But it's, it's like, great. I mean, you know, Dark Shadows had its issues, but this this one really takes the cake. It was yeah. like, it, and it was on PBS. But they have all the but, same like intrigues and dramas. And you, but you know, and you know what was amazing about it especially for the time period, is that it was um, written and produced by um, two women. And also, the one one of them starred in the show as, like, the main, as, like, the head oh, maid. Head maid Jean right? Marsh is her name, and he, she's really famous. And you may know her, those of you who know the movie Return to Oz, she is the actress who played um, the... Uh, the, oh, why am I forgetting a Mombi, the witch wow. who has all the heads in the in the cabinet? Wow, get you. She is the she, yeah, she is the creator of Upstairs Downstairs and starred in it and like her and her friend wrote it and produced it. It was really cool. 
Anyway, it's great. I there's love, your I little love watching it. Your useless <laughs> factoid for the day. <laughs> yes, a Dark Shadows Lego set or mock would be amazing. Oh, and now, thank would. you, Monster Radio Kid. I will have to do that because um, well, I think that I have seen some. I've seen some little ones before. Well, I've not to out your mocks. secret identity, but what? Quinn is known on many social media or games as Quentin. Oh yeah, Quentin Collins was from Quentin and Collins. And that's actually the name. Quentin Collins is the name I started posting Lego stuff under uh, on Flickr with a your long little time spooky ago. Mocks. With yeah, with my spooky mocks, and then I had um, and I had a picture, still have a picture of David Selby as um, as Quentin Collins up on the page there. So yeah, I thought um, I eventually changed it because I wanted people to find it as Tricky Bricks, but. Um, oh, um, you know. Galligate asks, are you taking part in Mark and Boone's Star Wars builds as well, Flynn and, uh, and Richard? I don't well, know. Well, we did we... collaborate with Boone and his friend Perry. And, and Mark, and too. Mar and Mark mm -hmm. helped on that one. And, um, and uh, Sam. Sam as well um, at Bricks Cascade. Yeah. Right? That was Ewok Adventureland. So more of those. The more I of think those maybe I little... don't understand your question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Monster Kid Radio. Oh, I love some, <laughs> I love some Dark Shadows. I gotta I gotta say I gotta say, um, yes, it's true. It's true. Um, Minifig chick. That is my my name on Animal Crossing is Quentin. I use it right. a lot, it, and I love it. And then and then I started watching The Magicians, and I really I um, oh yeah. And then there's the main great. Quentin character. So it's like carrying on. And I actually when I was. When I was still in school, you know, teaching at the schools, I had, um, I did have a student named Quentin, and it made me very happy. Back in the before, <laughs> in the before, in the times. before times. <laughs> hey, another vintage piece. Now, this may be a big duh to people who really know Lego, um, but this kind of clip is the old version, and they changed that clip now. Oh man, I love Return these, to Oz. These it's break so a lot. weird. Um, okay, so where are those cubes? Two cubes? light gray ones. Light gray cubes. Yep. Uh, otherwise known as one by one, one by bricks. One by one bricks. Uh, or cubes, as we call them. I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure where they are. I oh, Boone is having a, um, having a Star Wars build challenge. I saw something oh, about that. Oh, I didn't see that. We gotta catch um, up. I gotta say, we're not... Um, we are not, like, big Star Wars people. Um, and we... When we did We don't that, have anything against it. We just haven't been yeah, going we just, to... Like building spaceships, right? And Ewok. So how about those cubes? Yeah, Ewok stuff. Did we find? I them? haven't found a light gray cube even. One. Oh, there's one. Great. I'll there's never one. find. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're building this little thing here, and there's also a pin to axle. Um, you want to give me some of those bricks over there, and you can take these bowls. Okay, sure. Hey, hey Obi Wan Kenobi, gonna... welcome. Um, I'm gonna reach across here. Oh yeah, so I'll check. Out, I'll have to. I'll ask Boone about that. I'm not quite sure what the challenge is. I mean, I don't. Uh, I, don't I gotta say, I love Star Wars. I just haven't built a lot of Star Wars um, right. mocks, and I'm kind of. I'm old school. I really like the. Um, so how about the that, first three movies? How about that pin to Axel? Yeah, the lack of color in Star Wars makes me sad. I say as we're sitting That's in front of this building. gray and gray and black. Well, that's what I'm saying. We could take but it apart. All and, this and sand blue is awesome. We're not taking it apart. Yeah, you know, we'll take it apart and make a Millennium Falcon mm -hmm. out of it. <laughs> he has challenged us to build any Star Wars mock, I believe. Okay, that's oh, awesome. Cool. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> um, Flynn, I lost a piece on the floor. Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, there's that pinned axle. All it's right, a, so... It's a fragile one, too. It's one of these things. Oh, yeah. Well, I won't move. I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, you know um, what? I never right, Here we coffee. go. So check this out. We've got this and this, and we've got a gear that's going to be coming. Are you getting distracted? Easily uh, distracted. Yes. Well, like I, shiny I things or coffee. And I never finished it. Um, so <laughs> um, this Scary Lab set really makes me think, why hasn't LEGO done a monster set yet? That would be pretty awesome. I gotta say. Um... Yeah, you love Star Wars, but all the gray bricks is underwhelming. I, I, I yeah, no, I don't. I don't not like Star Wars. It's just not one of the things that we are like super, super into. That's I'll just say that. All right, so we still well, haven't. We, we had a lot of fun with, with Ewok Adventureland. Yeah, we had a great time with Ewok Adventureland. That was really good. 
So we're still missing, there it is. All right, so finally got this little piece done. It's got a gear, it's got these two like yellow piece. Adam's Family would be awesome. I wanna do the Adam's Family living room. I actually have a photo. I don't know if you've ever seen the photo of the Adams Family living room in color, but it's like all pink and white. It's really crazy. Like it doesn't look anything like what you would think it does. It's like crazy looking well, colors. Cause they had to film it in black and white. So. Right, so it was the um, way that color palette would render in black. Right, and, and I've already made my like, my-esque characters, my Adams Family style <laughs> characters that I have. Um, they're great. Yeah, posted up on the on the interwebs. Okay, so this he piece is going to go here. He made little mocks for this Adams family ish um, family, where like the the lady was carrying um, the baby, and I used and baby holding, Voldemort, baby Voldemort, and and holding a dead rat for it. And then there were other women walking their baby, you know, <laughs> walk, with walking their bottles. with their babies in the park, and they were <laughs> horrified. <laughs> Yeah, silly. well, maybe you had to see it. Go to our Instagram. Yeah, maybe you had to see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just check out yeah, our check Instagram. Out the Instagram. It's on there. Under, under Tricky Bricks. And then we spend there. a lot of time lighting them and all that. Yeah, we did. All right, so now we're getting this, like... Where is this other... Through here. Oh, now we're getting this worm gear in here that I was thinking about. Oh, um, does it serve yeah, a mechanical function? Um, need to do a mock oh, you can see uh, for Halloween since you have uh, Miss Thing. It's true. Well, I love, I love anything spooky. So, um, yeah. Oh, Shane, I'm so glad you're enjoying the monster builds. Yeah, I think we, it's a theme uh, we that like we don't get to delve spooky. into too much. But yeah, um, we've shown actually. Oh, you know what we haven't is shown? Is there a black axle? Black We're looking axle. for a black axle. Here we go. Right there. Awesome. Okay. This looks too long, I think. Is there oh, a really? shorter one? Uh, we got a brown axle. I'm excited about that. Now, it might be brown, but this looks black to me. Um, just trying to get an overview of the table. Are you hiding it over here? No. <laughs> uh, no. No. Well, it is. Uh, it does get two worm gears and... Um, Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the Monster Heads uh, Fuzzy Bricks. Uh, that Those were fun. I did those last year or two years ago. And I still have two more. I have the Wolfman and I have a, a Cthulhu with all the tentacles and everything face, which was really fun. Yeah, I think this one's too long. And there's also a little tiny gear that we're supposed to have. What are you doing up there? Oh, he's... She <laughs> Here, I, oh, uh, oh! What pins are we wearing today? Um, we, I have a pirate, a peg leg pirate parrot on, and Richard's wearing using an old school. Um, so, oh, so here's a little thing. I know, like sometimes we show some of the weird stuff of our in weird our collection. <laughs> um, so I'll sh I'm gonna show you real quick. Richard just pulled this down, but I do have the um, the Universal Monsters lunchbox. And it has the bride on it, which is great. And the mummy is on the side. Oop. Right? And then it's got the Phantom of the Opera and the Metaluna Mutant. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I used to love... And then on the other side, it's got the Wolfman and Dracula. So this is... <laughs> I think it... I have the thermos, too, somewhere yeah. for it. Oh, it's right up there. It's up there. Well, I so, guess... Kids, I don't know what kids take now in their backpack, like bento boxes. No, or they something. have all they have like little fabric lunchbox things that they leave behind. What? Oh yeah, so here we go. And then this here is the thermos that came with it. Whoops, here we go. Right. And oh, Scott who all... wouldn't want to drink their <laughs> their Kool Aid out of that? Right. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, yeah, Universal Monsters. There you go. That's it. We should just make a segment where we show one thing. What, collectibles? Like on... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because I've been time. thinking of starting to sort of form it more like a Pee Wee's Playhouse, like variety show. Oh, where, I love like, that idea. You have, you have different segments. Or like on, um, on Parks and Recreation, Andy's show, the... Um, uh, Johnny, oh, Karate. Johnny Karate <laughs> Adventure Hour or something like that. 
The well, super, we, the super explosion, something, something. Yeah. Anyway. Well, so you know, then we need, and then yeah, so then we can have like a guest segment where we have somebody come on for like you know ten or twenty minutes or whatever, and then we and then we do move on to the next thing. Um, Animal Crossing diner chairs. Yes, we actually we do. We do. It's, yeah. That, that's we, why I was so excited when you gave me that first one, Holly, because I was like, oh, I have the chair in my my living my <laughs> dining room. We have six of them. They're um, they're new. We bought them not too long ago. Yep. Um, our right, other chairs. So we're, we're still missing this axle, and we're not going to be able to move on. I have part. Of, sorry, everyone. Yes, of course, uh, Fuzzy Bricks. We do uh, watch uh, Arrested Development, oh, and so right, like right. when Will Arnett was the host of um, of Lego Masters, of course, that was huge for us because we're big fans. So that was um, it was really fun, and we actually they didn't show it on camera, but we got to say. Um, hmm, what did we get to say? Oh yeah, we got to say it's an illusion. To Will Arnett, we said it's an illusion. Uh, I don't think he thought it was as funny as we did, but hey, I got to say it to him. So, um, all right. Well, I can't find this. I don't see this axle anywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um yes drew i want you to show up to our door as captain carl that which is and of course you know there's that whole joke about washing your hands from that i love did you wash your hands no i love mm, i love peewee's playhouse now this one isn't long enough oh my goodness okay yes this one is have you seen like a little tiny gear i've seen it right here i'm answering my own question yeah, I think with the illusion thing, I think it's, um, it, with the illusion thing, it was like something like he was saying, well, that looks really something or another. And we were like, it's an, it's an illusion, Will. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> All right, so I've made now, finally, after finding that axle, I've made this little kooky piece, and it's going to go up here. Here, I'll put this down so you can see. It's going here like this. Um, what's our favorite Lego piece? Um, let's see. My favorite Lego pieces. Well, I've got several, and they're they're usually like the decorating things. Like I like the little gold swirly, like little whoop, swirls. I know that's a great description, right? And then um, I really like the one by four bricks from the Batman sixty six set that it has the Wayne Manor wallpaper. It's like a white with a sand green. I just, I love that piece so much. Okay, I'm making... See, I just want you all to know that every time somebody asks, like, what's your favorite piece or whatever, or what about a thing, Richard has to go into our stuff and find whatever it is that people are asking about. And then when we're done with this stream, there's, like, back. boxes everywhere. Well, and the table fills yeah. up. Yeah, so this is, so this would be Richard's favorite. And it's a favorite of mine, too, actually. The Mixels Ball Joint, which gives you so many... You know, like so much movement, places to go, right? <laughs> so that's really cool. Logan his mind. Logan knows what time it is. Is it that time? Well, we're yes. on the. We're, we. He's do figured you have it, out? it. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, let he me do this. He figured out what Logan cookie time is. Yes, he knows what this means now. Here, we'll put this here. So. Okay. All right, Logan, come on. Hi. Look what time Hi. it is. Okay. Right there. Oh, look. Yay! He's getting cheese. Oh, he's getting cheese he today. Cheese. Wow. Very right? exciting. There you go. Hooray! That's cheese! It. Yay! Good boy. Love and cheese time. Yes. Okay. He's very excited. <laughs> okay, that's it. Good boy. Logan cookie right. time. Cookie cookie time. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go back over here. Oh, did, I, did you move this out? Oh, you just moved it out of the way for that. Yeah, I didn't All want right. it because, you know, he has a tendency. To, he's a very sharp claws, and he has a tendency to pull things. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to so get back. So one of our on first to, visitors. One of our first visitors? What? Guests. We're having guests on the show, and this is, Logan is just a precursor. Yeah, Logan's, Logan's like a precursor to special guests on the show. See, we already have our segments. He's like the cartoon um, feature, like a penny cartoon. Um, you guys should have a box of your favorite minifigs pieces that you can just take out and show. But you know, Fuzzy Brick Studios, we that's should. not a bad idea. I think we may have to do that. Well, I like the um, idea of show and tell. 
We need Boone to re- to record a jingle for Logan Cookie Time. It's true. It's oh. true. Maybe we could do something together. Maybe well, I, could, I have you know. other ideas about that, but I won't. I won't put anyone on the spot. Yeah, don't. I am not gonna play the accordion for <laughs> for the guests. I don't play the accordion. I just saying. Um, Let's see. So, yes, Logan is named after Wolverine. He's also named after the movie Logan's Run. So I love Wolverine, and Richard loves Logan's Run. So we kind of it seemed like a shoe in. Um, let's see. Uh, you put your challenge on your channel yesterday at like noon, so I was late. But please still add my challenge and see it. We uh, Brick Show will do. I really hope that you sent a photo as well because we really need to see a photo. Uh, but, uh, definitely make sure you sent that, the link to me as well, because I'd like to see a photo. Um, do we have a way to organize your bricks minifigs? Yes, we have, a, we yes. have quite an extensive and very strange sorting system. Well, um, here's minifigs. Here, you can show minifigs. Okay, well, this isn't, this isn't all of them, but, so this, this is, is how we store our minifigs. I got this at, um, at Michael's. And it's just like a big plastic case with another plastic case inside of it, or a bunch of other little plastic cases inside of it. And then we keep our minifigs um, in there, kind of divided up by genre. And everything um, labeled to the nth degree. Yeah. Label, label, label. Um, let's see. I, I wanted to say, someone asked about showing the minifigs we like. Yeah, we, no, they, he was just saying that we okay. should have something set up so well, that we Well, I wanted to ready. show you these. Um, so, Flynn, what, what's the story of these two? Right? What's the story of these two? It goes way back to when we were... Hey, Ash and Flash, building. how's it going? Yeah, okay, so... First building. One of the first things that we built was this, like, ice castle type thing that was really just a bunch of like white yeah. arches and things it was very well, airy and open i wanted to make a big structure fast that was light and lacy so i made this very delicate big tower ice tower yeah yeah and there there um there's a it was an ice tower and then we were going to go put it in the the uh the, the show the the train show that our lug does at christmas time yep. And it, it was just, but it was just sitting on a base plate and was bugging me that it was just like on a base plate. So I built Writer, up like, director. I built up like a little like ice cave in the corner in the back behind and with like a little path leading to it. And inside um, that was the Yeti. And then sitting outside the cave, like <laughs> on the ground, bones. was with some bones. <laughs> there were some bones. And then there was like this guy. It was very silly. We still have them. It, there are a couple. Was- this was another together. case, you know, <laughs> like with the tree that we did, this was a case morning, where... Morning, Brick Bunnies. It is still morning here. Uh, uh, nice to see you. Oh, JMW Music is here. Poor man froze to death in the Yeti cave. It's true. It's true. I want to say about um, the, the ice tower there, it was the biggest thing I had ever built. And it was huge. <laughs> like, it was at least 10 inches tall. Oh, it was... Yeah. Right? And it, then... Enormous. Like, it was this little thing. <laughs> Um, and we went back and looked at it later and it was just, you know, it was much simpler construction, but it, it was, um, I don't know. It fired our imaginations for a long time. Fired our imaginations. Yes. Cause we're fired up. We are fired up. All right. So what do we got here? One of these? What in that bowl? Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Right. All right, see, so let's yeah, uh, we'll head back over here so we can see what we're working on. So we're still building the lab, and it's having us put a sort of hinge on there. Yeah, I think I need to. We need to make some sort of like holder that will hold things yep. diagonally. All right, so I'm going to do a sub build here. Um, we do that got... with your students, right? Don't you demonstrate sub builds with them? Yeah, we do. I do. That's a. It's a really great way to teach the kids how to be able to um, to help them memorize. Because the way that we teach is they don't get an instruction booklet. Like we show them a model completely put together, um, and then they uh, and then then we take it apart in front of them and then put it back together with explanation. And then they are then to build it. I mean, we help them. You know, I help them and stuff. But the, they are then. Um, uh, responsible for putting it back together, kind of like, and then I leave the model out so they can kind of reverse engineer it or try to be reminded of And all what, the parts, right? And all the, all the parts I lay all the parts out. out for them. Yeah, so. 
Uh, let's see. Um, oh, so that one show was just very definite. good. You added pictures at the end of all the details. Very oh, good. 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 Perfect. Good. Thank you, the Brick Show, and um, Roseanne Leon. I can't say. I can't. I can't make a pick. You know, we can't pick and say who we're gonna, who we want to um, win on the finale. I no, think that's uh, that no. Is we're not, we're close friends with with, with the all whole these cast, people. You know, so but, that's like picking your favorite brother. Or something. Uh, yeah, and we're also not gonna say too much just because there's still some people who haven't seen last night's episode or what have you. So we're gonna yeah. try to be a little careful with that. Uh, but um, what classes do you teach? I teach um, Lego engineering classes to kindergarten through sixth graders, Oops. although most of my classes end up in the sort of um, K through third to fourth grade. Usually ends up being yep. what I do. But right now... But you teach um, them engineering, right? But I do. Like I teach propulsion them... Propulsion and gravity and yeah. levers. Levers, gears. stuff like that. Mo how to do gears and motors. And you should see some of these kindergartens are, kindergartners are putting on. It's, yeah, uh, it's amazing. Clever kids. Um, so looking for two sand blue headlight bricks. Sand, oh, we have oh, those in, they are. The yep, bowl. in the bowl. I gotta remember the bowl. There's like seriously, there's so many. Um, well, here I will manage bowls. Uh, the, for uh, the both of no, us. we do not do the um, the first Lego leagues. Uh, oh, all right, hooray, John Sweet. Turney. Thank you, John Turney, for Just your subscription. Subscribed. Thank you so much. We are getting so close to a thousand. I'm so excited about that. That's cool. I can't wait to be to to see. I mean, I haven't researched it too much, but I've researched it enough to know that we are going to be able to do more interaction with, with more you guys. More engagement, right? More engagement. And I think, I think you can have one guest on. Oh. Via YouTube. Via YouTube, I not even think. the outside programs. I think so, yeah. Well, we'll that would see. be cool. We'll see. I'm not, we, have, again, we have some ideas for guests, too. I'm learning every day. Learning about this every day. Seriously. Like, every day it's like new, a new graphic or a new this or that. And it's been very exciting. But, man, it's been a lot of work. Flynn's it's been a taking, lot. So he has some time off as a teacher um, because a no, lot of no, time no, off, no schools. Time so off, he's a creating a media environment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. In Who our dining now? room. Uh, Michael Ford, thank you for your subscription. Thank you so much. I love that silly little graphic. I don't know. I know it the came, dancing star. The, <laughs> <laughs> it came with the program. I don't know. Oh, look. Here are the missing axles. Oh, I, yeah. I found that one axle. So now we're looking for two black jumper plates. And there's a bat. We're missing a bat. I got a bat right here. I got, I got I the got bat, your right bat right here. Right His name here. is Paul Revere. Oh, sorry. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry to anybody who Who's doesn't that, know musicals. No, who is it? I don't know. Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls. Sorry. And I, I, no, I knew it was something with Wise I guys. only know it because I was, I was in it in high school, is the thing you see. Um, yeah, I was that theater kid in high school. Um, okay, so it looks like now we installed this. Um, we call them rocker hinges, but this little hinge that goes yep. on the little holder again. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, Brick Bunny CB, it is fun, isn't that a little notification thing? Is great. All right, so I so, built this. We built this like little chair, and it looks like it attaches onto the little hinged part, and now this chair can sort of like tip forward. I mean, I don't know. Now, a musical number segment. Wow, Shane. Well, Richard's <laughs> been bugging me about picking up my ukulele again. I need to yes. do, like, a short musical number. <laughs> I... This really is turning into, like, a variety <laughs> show. <laughs> um, well, we uh, were... Gallagade, yes, it was a sealed set. It was absolutely sealed. Brand we new, took it all out of the bags. Everything never been... Never been touched on the inside okay. by human hands no since 2002. No um, fingerprints on that. I know. I've actually, on Let's our see. mocks, sometimes taken Windex and cleaned the fingerprints off. Like, if we're doing really close up. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Who is this? Dan Jenkins. Thank, thank you. Sorry, I have Hi, to like, welcome. get right Sorry, up in yeah, the camera every time. But magnifying glass out. Yeah, we have to. It's, it's very small. So, okay, so we've got this going on. We're making a that, and it looks like two, oh. three jumper plates, three light gray jumper okay, plates. and here's 
There's a, a green, green trans piece and, and a, a red. red one. All right. There we go. And then we need three light gray jumper plates. Okay. We're using three jumper plates. So are plates. they? Did we make up jumper? Are they jumper? It became a variety show plates? with a mannequin hand. Well, it, <laughs> it sort of did. Well, we like that, right? We. Well, we were we grew up in the era of variety shows. Yeah, like that was it was a thing. You know, like Donnie well, and Marie and Carol Sonny Burnett. and Jen. Carol Burnett was the one that was Pink really, Lady and yeah. Jeff. Oh no. No. Shields and Yarnell. Oh no. <laughs> Although arguably you just kind of went back up in, in rank again. Yeah. 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 Okay. So y'all, if you ever so my friend Johnny introduced me to this like crazy bonkers show from the seventies called um Pink Lady and Jeff. So Pink Lady was, I believe they were Japanese. They, they were a Japanese, Japanese rock group. Um, duo. It was a like two, two yeah. women. I think they oh, were awesome. well known before the show. Um, epic SpongeBob Gamer, thank you for your subscription. Awesome. Um, and so we, oh, Johnny is here. Very good. Oh, yeah, hey, Pink Johnny. Lady and Jeff. So it was this like, it was a Jewish comedian guy and then these two like stick thin Japanese ladies and they did like a musical variety show and yeah. at the end of every show i think it was at the end of every show they would be in a hot tub in a hot tub <laughs> on the set this guy and these two ladies who looked like toothpicks with like little bikinis on i mean am i right johnny was it at the end of every show that they were in the hot tub oh man it was so weird it was so weird yeah you know um, i gotta say though my heart was with tony orlando <laughs> and dawn right <laughs> How much better does it get than oh, Tony Orlando right. and Dawn? You know, well, they they tied a yellow Dawn ribbon so cool. around the. They were Dawn was awesome. bell bottoms, <laughs> big giant bell bottoms. Okay, so now this goes this goes on top of this. So we got this little whole decoration thing going on now. Yeah, behind the behind the chair, but, but behind <laughs> the slightly moving chair. Um, the Brick Show asks what we're recording the stream with. The, the I think YouTube is recording the stream, but what we're yeah. using to stream is um, OBS. Um, yeah, uh, it's, yes, they um, they couldn't speak English. That's right. They were they. Oh, um, not, I think a, they, not at all. I think they spoke phonetic. I think they like spoke oh, English phonetically, yeah. like just like ABBA. See, now we're getting wow. We are really going down a rabbit hole. So, so ABBA when they were, um, yeah, the the ladies didn't know English, and so the um, the two guys who wrote all the songs, like they learned English phonetically, or they would yeah. write it out for them phonetically, and they would sing it, which I think is kind of hilarious. Um, did I do this right? I think I didn't do this right. Uh oh. Yeah, this is gonna get a nice big. I know Drew's out there having like. A heart attack because we missed a spot. We missed a piece. This is for you, Drew. I'm making sure we didn't miss a piece. This goes here. Drew, I looked at the that photo you sent, and I looked at our model over and over and over, we and didn't... I did not see where was the missing piece. <laughs> <laughs> like where's, maybe he means the minifigure. Where's the missing piece? That's the big question. All right, this goes here. Now we go. There we go. Um, yeah. Do I think the scientist in this set is extra creepy? He I is do. awesome. I do. Um, hey, um, Henry Bergson, thank you so much. Or is it Henri uh, Bergson? Uh, Check so, that out. Thank his... you so much. And um, yeah, I do think um, I do think he's kind of extra creepy. That face is really yeah. Upsetting. Sorry about the focus there. But wait, he has another face. He has like a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde thing happening. Here, he's got show like it to big... that camera here. Um. Look, he's got like this. There's the front, terrifying face with red eyes, and then he's got like this whole Jekyll and Hyde business going on on the other side with giant lamb chops. You know, the other chops. side, this side. Okay, this goes way, way back before any of our times. But the Joker, I'm told, was based on a movie called The Man Who Laughs, who it had is. this huge. Huge yeah, big, smile. Big grin. He looked very... It, Conrad Veidt. That's who that was. Who was in um, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Which Terrifying. You, you've never seen is amazing. Wow. Okay. We're, uh, wow, we have fallen down <laughs> a deep well today, everyone, in the in the in like the world of pop culture ridiculousness. Yep. Well, how All are right. we doing with the Lego building? It's still happening. Uh, we are going to... I, I know. This is like definitely... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Good and Mr. Evil CMF, um, I guess, got his features. Yes, I love that one. That is a great one. That's like the Jekyll Hyde, basically Jekyll Hyde. Um, not basically, it is. They just gave him a different name. Um, okay, how about we're looking for uh, two black textured bricks? Uh, yes. All right, where do they go? Here and here with the with horizontals. The horizontal Sh horizontal side showing. Yeah. Okay. I'm really um, surprised at how little this chair moves. I know. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I don't it's know really what it's like, like, but I'm assuming it's supposed to like tip someone out. <laughs> right. I guess just that much, just a quarter inch. That would send a minifigure out of the chair. I guess it would, sure. right? Uh, one by two sand blue uh, tiles. I see one. Yeah. And I then, like sand blue a lot. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good one. I don't see another sand blue tile. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Nice. So let's see here. Well, oh, oh, sorry there. Let's see, does he tip out? Let's see. Yep. Well, yeah. If right you, out. If you fling him out. <laughs> You just have to smash the set, and then the play function works. <laughs> I tried to break my toys so much as a kid. Not all of them, but my Tonka trucks. Are you one of those? You're one of those. No, my Tonka trucks, we had nine tons of, like, you know, petrified wood and, and turquoise and all these different rocks, because it was the 70s in our backyard, and I would make these giant avalanches and try and... Well, but split. why did you have all those in your backyard? Uh, because my family would go on these camping trips out in the desert and pick up rocks. <laughs> Rock collecting. <laughs> We'd go panning for gold, <laughs> and then my dad bought a huge collection because, well, I mean, look at our Logan. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> oh, BJ, you made the mock about us and Logan. That's awesome. Oh, well, that's cool. Thank you. Can't wait Thanks. to see it. Very cool. <laughs> Um, I, let's see, so, I can't tell, oh yeah, that looks like it's gray, light gray, no, hey, so it's we're, dark gray. I don't think we're going to yeah. finish this whole model today. Oh no, we won't finish this today, for sure. And you know what um, that means, is all this nulling out, well, I don't know, what are we doing on this table, maybe I have to we'll work. just leave it. I've got some work to do. Alright. But, you know, I can, I can move things around. All so right, are so you going to need two more for, of those? I'm looking for a two, four, six. See, I'm jumping way ahead. Here, we're now we're on sideways. a um, now we're on a sub build again. So let's move that out of the way. Oh, we're done with this now that for I now. got it centered on yeah. the camera perfectly. Yeah, yeah, great pain. Okay, you want to stack five of the little yes. of the dishes? Stacking and should five be, things. And there should be a green transparent dot. Wow, they're really tight and have... Okay, so here's something, um, and this is always such a, a tight fit, but this is this stud is actually going to go in between these studs, and I always find it... You have to kind there of you push go. it with your finger now. It's a good firm fit. Yeah, it really is. Totally legal move. And then those sit on top of it. What? Upside down, like mm -hmm. that. Yep. So now we got this. More lab, you know, more lab equipment. Right, repet repetition. Um, the gear, the gear is just for decoration. Yeah, uh, it's just there to like be. Oops, sorry, I should hold it here. It's just there to um to be a decoration. Same well, thing with the gear back here. It's just like a you know supposed to mimic lab equipment. Well, and also in Frankenstein, they had these huge gears that were meant to lift the table with the creature right. up into the <laughs> clouds and thunder and lightning for you know to get zapped. Okay, two more of these. I still think the greatest horror film of all time, hands down, maybe not the scariest, but my favorite is The Bride of Frankenstein. Me too. I think it doesn't get... Uh, classic Universal Monsters didn't get better than that. And I don't know. The, you know, it's weird. I mean, yes, I agree. Uh oh, but there's, but... there's a but. But I will say that I saw um, Son of Frankenstein, which is crazy stylish like super. oh we watched that yeah, we together went to, yeah. that was the one with the huge walk-in fireplace in yes the, in the living yes. room yes <laughs> and we went we went and saw it at the castro movie theater and it was gorgeous on a huge old movie screen theater in huge an old screen. movie palace yeah it was nice so okay wow and then, this is a tight fit check this out so this oh. little this piece right oh and then that goes here i've never seen that before that's, and have then, you seen that 
Done no, before? no, this is all new to me. And then we're gonna go, whoa, here, like this. Whoa, who knew? I learned a thing. Yeah. Right? And then that is going to go on top of, oh, and we're gonna have another sort of in between the studs thing. I love any way that you can get upside oh, down. Oh, you've only seen Young Frankenstein. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna only have ever seen one Frankenstein movie, that's pretty. That's a pretty great one. Although, of it course, is. if you've seen the original movies, you will understand a lot of the yeah. jokes more. But it still stands on its own as an awesome. Yeah. Um, well, I thing. think so. This goes Young up here. Frankenstein. Their set design and lighting and costumes were all really true to the original movies. Yeah. It's well, I think they, they even they ridiculous. even used some of the original same um, lab set equipment. Piece, lab, lab equipment. That's right. Yep. Um, Okay, so here is what we've got here, and it looks like, yeah, so it looks like the next thing in the instructions is we're going to build um, a second part of the building. So I think that means we're going to end it here for today with what okay. we've built this first part. All right. So, oh, and PJ, no, no, don't worry about that, but we're going to, I'm saying we're ending the building here today, and yeah. then we're, we'll finish with our um, normal, with, the chat part. Yeah, with, our, with our chat <laughs> part. So, um, this is really exciting, y'all. Like, thanks again to Drew for providing this yeah. awesome, and just, um, um, I don't know, Joel Marbella, please do subscribe. Um, just to kind of well, show you what we have here, we have this little area with the tools that slides out. We have the floor that has the um, the scorpion and the, the... Scorpion's hard to see. Yeah, but... it's kind of hard to see. The pumpkin. And then inside this treasure chest is a skull. Right? And then up top, we have the sort of... Um, and I'm going to take the chair off so you can kind of see this awesome... I think that's great decoration. There's all your little lab, like, kookiness with the... That's great. Antenna on top. I gotta say, I don't understand the chair yet. Perhaps it will all will be revealed later. <laughs> but I'm not quite getting the chair. Well, right. and I just wanted it, for me. Oh yeah, and look, it even has this little detail on the back. That's this cool. like sort of protruding window, which they didn't have to do. No, um, it just makes but, it cooler. Yeah, I think it. It's yeah. like Frankenstein. And I want to use this color palette. This old, the hey, old Hornell. dark gray. How's it going? I want to use the old dark gray with the sand blue again. I think. It yeah, looks so it's great. a great, it's a great color combination. Here, and I'll even we'll do our little tilt down so you can see it standing up. Yep. Right, with the little tools. Very and then we have cool. all our cool minifigures as well. Well, we'll finish this one tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be well. Uh, this might you be think? Three oh, days. maybe not. No, there's only a, yeah, there's only a few. We'll probably finish it lot, tomorrow. Though. Looking at what's um, on the table. You're surprised Richard isn't using his UV flashlight on the trans pieces. We do like to do that, yeah. but I gotta say it blows it out so much that you can't yeah, even really yeah, tell yeah. in the on the stream. So we kind of we did that in the on the first few. And then yeah, but like, it's the right. first thing I think about. And then also with this space here, I could get the UV flashlight behind it. Yeah, um, and it would light up even brighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The 56 one is great, but I got to confess, I love the 70s one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty so good. It's so good and really, really scary. I, though I do love the 50s one, too. It's a good one. Um, all right, so let's I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm just we're just going to go over you know, like our ways our to contact The ways to get a hold of us. So you can follow us on Instagram, at Tricky Bricks. That's also a place where you can uh, upload mm -hmm. your... Okay contest entry and make sure you tag us at tricky bricks and also you can use the hashtag tricky bricks build contest all right so um thank you will i love the my paranorman t-shirt thanks to holly yay holly <laughs> thank you holly holly who um, was cool enough that it, you know to invite us to take that tour of like a studio yeah it was, was pretty just amazing it was pretty awesome um, so she's a great builder too. Um, you can also email us at Flynn at trickybricks.com and that's where you can send your entries, which are due in a half an hour. And About of course, 35 minutes. And of course, we'll, we'll take some if they're a few minutes late We're or a little easy. bit late. We're easy. We're but just, you know, if it comes past a certain time in the afternoon, I'm not going to be able to include it with all of the, um, with all that stuff. Yeah. I don't think it glows in the dark. Well, I don't Holly, know. Holly, can you, do you know, does it glow in the dark? Yeah, I have we'll to see. try. Well, now we'll he see. wants to try. We'll see. 
The oh, eyes, the eyes, the eyes glow a different color. The eyes are very That's bright. pretty awesome. Yeah, but I don't know that it necessarily glows in the dark. I'm not sure. Oh, it doesn't. It's the first thing you check. <laughs> of course you did, Holly. Of course. Holly. Of course. Um, all right. So, yeah, so you can get us there. Um, if you want to send us a postcard or a letter or fan art or what have you, um, you can contact us at our P.O. Box, which is uh, Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, uh, Oakland, California, 94611. We love um, snail mail. We love snail mail, actually. Yeah, we're looking forward to um, seeing some postcards and stuff from people. And also, and don't forget... Yeah. Um, we want to start a reader questions area where we where we mm-hmm. read people's questions and answer them and stuff. So if you have questions, I know we answer a lot of questions in the stream. But we miss some sometimes. But we miss some sometimes. So if you have a question you want us to answer, you can feel free to email us at that Flynn at trickybricks.com address. And we can start, uh, that way we can get our uh, viewer mail started, um, which would be, I think, a lot of fun. Yep, and um, and hopefully guess soon. And it looks like yep. we are. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, I I'm not at a place where I can necessarily check our um, how many subscribers we have right now, um, but I I know we've got to be getting close. So yep. thank you everybody so much for helping to get us here. And you know we're we're close to a thousand followers. Thank you for everybody who signed up today and who shared my Facebook post. To get more people uh, to sign up, which really, really very much appreciated. Well, we just love um, hanging out with you all and doing this. We love building Lego together yeah. and hanging out with you, and that just makes it easier. Yeah, it's been really, it's been really, um, it's been really fun and a great way to spend this time where we're all spending a little, little time at home. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, just you're welcome, positive, Holly. Fun, carefree time. Yeah, you know it's funny. I know people were saying like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you! Sh- you guys are streaming every single day." And it's at this point, it's become a habit. Like, it's, yeah, it's part just of my. It's a part regular of part of our day. And we go I, back into the into the room back there, or our secret stash of sets, and discover. You know, think about what <laughs> what would be fun to build. <laughs> right. Fingers crossed we get there soon. Thank you to the 1K Club. We will see. I think maybe, I think we can hopefully do it, um, you know, maybe we can do do it by the end of the weekend would be kind of awesome. And remember, yep. when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will do another giveaway. Yep. Um, so, um, yeah. So, all right. Well, yeah, we're getting ready to sign off. Uh, the Mowgli, thanks for coming back. But we are getting yep. ready to sign off. Um, and I just, again, thanks everybody so much for, uh, for joining us today. Bye, and Naomi. we're here, um, every day at 10 a.m. Tell people where sometimes we do an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. And, um, we, uh, we really appreciate everybody coming by. So thank you so much. Right. And Bye. we will see you next time. Hey, everyone. Wash those hands. Yes, that's right. Stay safe. Have Stay fun healthy. together. Wash your hands. Have fun. Play a game. Build some Lego. Send us your contest entries, and we will see I know. you all. Oh, wait. yeah, tomorrow and we will see you all we tomorrow where we where we reveal the winner. All right. Okay. Bye, bye everyone. everyone.